Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the class, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome to the class. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Great. So, yes. did it, today, did it rain? Yes? Yes, yes, in the afternoon. I know, you live in Zacatecoluca, right? Yes. I was there in the afternoon and it was raining. So I thought, ah, today is raining. Yeah, it's a little fresh. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Excellent. Also, it seems like it's going to rain. I don't know, maybe in 20 minutes. I don't know. Okay. Well, I yes. hope that it doesn't affect the connection. All right. All yes, right. Uh, the the almost time effect a little it it because it's a Wi-Fi connection. Ah, yeah, it, that it affects. Because, it because I I live near to El Plante Patecoluca. Near to the ah. I live, so, so yeah, if, the connection is the bad. Light, I lost I lost connection in my in my table and I oh. lost connection in my set. So really this is the reason about advice about it. Yeah. That's negative. Yes. Little, yes. Oh, but I, I hope I will rain. At least during the class. Maybe it will be great if it rains, but after the class, when the class ends. Okay, teacher. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. Hi there. Welcome to the class, everybody. How are you? Uh huh. Hello. How are you guys? Hello. Ah, Fine, Mirna, thank you. You're back. Yeah, yeah, I'm back again. <laughs> How are Sorry you? Sorry for yesterday that it's I had right. to. I did a, a report and sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I know it's okay. Don't worry. So how are you? Good, good. Thank you. It's a little fresh that Nelson said because it start to rain, but it's a little rain here. But okay. it's it's okay. It's need, we need to fresh air. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's yeah, <laughs> I know. That, that happens in my city too. It was raining a little, not so much, but a little <laughs> here in my city. Yes. So now it's a little colder. Not so much, but at <laughs> least it's not like hail. <laughs> no, it's the same here, but maybe. <laughs> I hope that <laughs> in the rest of the night, maybe. <laughs> yeah, when... that you can sleep a little bit better with the weather. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. necessary, that rain. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I was reading an image that says, um, if you feel hot nowadays, but that is the coldest weather that we are going to have. So from now in the future, it's not going to be cold there. It's going to be worse. So yes. that's pretty sad. <laughs> yes, I know. We need, to, we need to emigrate to another planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Definitely. maybe in, in, a, in a country that they have a snow or maybe something like that. But yeah. no, it's the same because it's the ecosystem or is the weather that changes a lot because Mm -hmm. Actually, system. every country is changing, actually. So the solution is not another country, it's another planet. <laughs> exactly. So, the solution yeah. is is um is um uh not trash the, the garbage or the plastic, yeah. Mm -hmm. The sea or yeah, we have to recycle, yeah. 
Yeah, everything. And not only us, the problem are like the huge factories, you know, in the world. Not only exactly. us, but, but the because, industry. Exactly. But imagine if they are generating a lot of money. I mean, yeah. But anyway, but the, but the government have the 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 regulation uh, policies about that. But the problem is that the the companies don't follow the the rules or or yeah. not respect the 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 the, the rules. That's true, mm -hmm. and that's pretty sad. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So well. <laughs> I hope yes. guys this situation can improve. But anyway, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. I want to see your cameras on. Come on. Cameras on, please. Cameras on. I want to see you. Okay, very good. So guys, we are about to finish this level. It's just today and tomorrow. So today we're going to continue studying a topic. And if we don't finish today, well, we are going to continue tomorrow. It is important, guys, to stay connected tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. So don't miss the class. Now, we're going to start. Let me share the presentation. Welcome to all of you. I was checking the platform, guys. And I can see that almost everybody already finished. Very good. I have like two people, only two people haven't uh, finished the platform, but the rest of you, you are done. You are free. Excellent. You see, it's a pool, guys. It's a pool. Now you are just waiting to move on to the next level. Very good. So, just remember everybody the attendance. That is important too. I see um, some people missed like many classes. So remember that not only for this level, but for all the levels, it is necessary to always stay connected. Okay. If you cannot participate, I mean, it's all right, but uh, always, try to be at least as listener, okay? Don't miss any class. Now, let me share the presentation. Give me a second. Let's see, let's see. Okay, can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, sure. Yes. Yes? yes. yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is June 15th. We are about to finish the unit number four. And the topic that we are going to study today is how to use suffixes. Okay, have you ever seen this word? Yes. 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 So yes. In Spanish. Spanish. In Spanish? Yes. And it works exactly as in Spanish. In Spanish, we had suffixes and prefixes. So pre means that goes before the word. I mean, at the beginning, like for example, if I say responsible, responsible, the prefix is for example, when we say, irresponsible and the suffixes goes at the end of the world. So that is what we are going to learn today, okay? So uh, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Could I? Yes, please. Uh, class of, uh, objective. Participant will be able to use suffixes uh, to make a verb into a noun. Cool. So what we are going to do, guys, is to learn. Imagine if I have a verb, how can I transform that verb into a noun? 
Okay, that is basically what we are going to do. We already studied the difference between an adjective and an adverb. So now is the turn to change it into verb from noun. So, but the first one, let's see if you remember the topics that we studied yesterday, the cycle count program. What was that? Do you remember? The cycle yes. count program? Uh-huh. I remember something related to inventory. Okay. Count the inventory, maybe monthly, daily, weekly. Mm -hmm. How do you, how do you like? How okay. you like? How? Uh, <laughs> that. <laughs> as you prefer. Ah, uh, as you prefer. Okay. Yes, you got the idea. What else? What is another characteristic of the cycle count program? Uh -huh. Let's see if you remember. Hmm. Here, the cycle count program is depend of the at the end of the the month, for example, if you have the if you have to to close your cycle of the month in finance in finances, for example, in financial. Yeah, remember, as we said yesterday, it depends on the kind of business that you have. It depends on the product. It depends uh, on the warehouse. Some companies do this every month. Some companies every year or every three months. Some of them do it a little bit more frequent, like every week or even every day. All right. So um, in the cycle count program, we can do it according to the preferences. Another important characteristic is um, in the cycle count program, do I only check my system, the inventory that I have on my system? Yes or no? No. No? So no. what else do I need to check? The physical the product. Correct. Very good. So that is one of the characteristics of the Cycle Counts program. We also check the physical. All right. In this program, remember, we confirm that what I have physically matches with the records. All right. And we can do it. We can check the moments that you prefer. It could be monthly, weekly, every day, or every year. Is it clear the meaning of the cycle count program? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes? I get it. Everyone clear? Yes. Okay, I hope so, I hope so. Look, we can have a surprise exam. <laughs> we never know, so be careful. Now, yesterday also we were talking about high achievers. What is a high achievers? Do you remember? A high, uh, a high achiever is, um, is a person who reach the the um, him or her personal goals correct exactly achiever is like a winner right it's a person who reaches their goals if they want to have a lot of money and they work hard they will get a lot of money so they work hard in order to reach their goals so yesterday we checked some vocabulary. Let's see if you remember. The first vocabulary was hallmark. So what is that? What is the meaning for hallmark? Hallmark is a characteristic. 
is a characteristic. So what will be, guys, the best definition? Do you remember? Uh -huh. Letter C. Letter C. An aspect of something that is typically of it and can help identify it. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Sorry, teacher, but I'm not clear. Hallmark, could you repeat, please? What is the meaning of Hallmark? Okay, Hallmark is a synonym of characteristics. So I can say, this person has very positive characteristics. Or I can say, this person has positive a positive hallmarks. Got it? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Now, do you remember, guys, uh, what was the meaning for go the extra mile? Is uh, go is work, work over, work over our a regular work, a mm -hmm. regular schedule, work else, work more, work <laughs> more. <laughs> work more without, <laughs> without more <laughs> money. money. Without yeah. money. <laughs> is, the, is, an, uh, is the time, extra time that you did uh, after your, your time or your, your program time is, is, Basically, this... guys, uh huh, it counts. But remember that here, when we say got the extra mile, is that sacrifice that you do without nobody is asking for it. All right. It's like the example that I gave you yesterday. Imagine if I say, guys, for this week, you had to finish the unit number one. So that is what I'm asking. But if you say, no, but I have free time, I can advance more. So you finish the unit number one and you finish the unit number two. So you did more than what I was asking for. That means the extra mile. Clear? Yes. Yes, yes thank, you. thank you. And yes. in this case, if you see, I mean, there is not an extra credit for it. It's not extra money for it, right? So according to that idea, what would be the best definition for that word? Do you remember? Uh-huh. <laughs> D. Yes. D. Do more than is strictly required in order to get the best result. Pretty good. And this is like in your job. Imagine that you finish work at 5 p.m. Okay? But you have a lot of things to do and you haven't finished. I mean, you have a lot of papers to check. And you say, mm, okay, my boss is not paying me for this. But if I don't finish the job, I mean, we are going to have a lot of issues, a lot of inconvenience, a lot of delays. And you say, okay, I'm going to stay at work and I'm going to finish the project. So I'm going to leave at 6 p.m. So you work one extra hour, that is an extra mile. Nobody is asking for it. It's not the strictly required, but even though you do it because you want the best result. All right. 
So yesterday we got a debate <laughs> between if you had to do the extra mile, if it is a good idea or not. Some of you say yes, <laughs> some of you say no. So everybody, is good idea to go the extra mile or not? It depends if you love what you do. It's a good option. If you are working just for your salary, maybe maybe couldn't do a good idea. It, exactly, right? It depends of the area. Remember, guys, that when we are talking about the extra mile, it's not only in your job. This could be in your personal life to so this applies for every area in your life okay now the next word was analogy do you remember that one what is analogy letter a mm -hmm. okay look at this is a comparison to explain better. For example, um, and this happens to me. When some people ask, where do you live? I usually say, ah, I live in La Paz. <laughs> when I say La Paz, I don't know why, but everybody says, ah, you live near to the beach. <laughs> and in my case, it's like, no, really, I don't live near to the beach. So I need to give a comparison. I need to give examples in order that the people can understand better. So I give examples and I say, uh, nope, actually I'm closer to the airport than to the beach. So that is analogy. Another example can be, imagine that you explain your job, right? And what happens if people don't understand what you do? You have to explain, right? You have to give examples, you have to do some comparison in order that people can understand what you do. Imagine that you are talking with someone from Japan and they say, where do you live? Where are you from? And you say, ah, I'm from El Salvador. And that person is El Salvador? What is that? <laughs> where is El Salvador? What could you say? What comparison can you use in order that the person can understand what you are saying. What do you think? What analogy would you use? Have you heard about Guatemala? Mm, yes, uh, Guatemala is near to Mexico, right? Yes, we are next to Guatemala. Ah, that's a good one, pretty good. What else, guys? Another analogy that you can use? To describe El Salvador? No more ideas? Imagine that somebody asks you, where is El Salvador? What would you say? El Salvador is in Salvador. Central America. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, Mirna, can you repeat again? Uh, El Salvador is in Central America. Ah, it's okay. It's close to Honduras and Guatemala, the border or border with Guatemala and then north and the south is Honduras. Mm, that's another comparison. Any other idea? In the El Salvador is nation the pupus. <laughs> okay, that is another example. Imagine, guys, that you are talking to someone who has never in his entire life 
has eaten pupusas. And they says, okay, but what is a pupusa? <laughs> You need to use an analogy. You need to use a comparison. Which food is famous and similar to a pupusas? What do you think? What comparison will you use? Where I, mm. I use the arepa is similar or from Mexico, the gorditas is similar it's not the same but it's similar because but it's exactly. the corn tor tortilla with the stuff of something and that is an analogy yeah. perfect so you can say yes, okay uh-huh have you ever heard about arepas from colombia yes ah good so a pupusa is very similar to arepas or have you ever been in Mexico? Yes. Okay. Have you ever eaten Las Gordidas? Ah, okay. So pupusas are exactly or similar to the gorditas. If you see, you are just using comparison to explain better. Is it clear what an analogy is? Everybody? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Be careful with the vocabulary. If there is a word that you don't understand, tell me because we are going to use them. Then we have accordingly. What is that? It's the letter B. When you are, when your morals, when your manners are according for each one of the situation where mm -hmm. you are. Imagine guys that you go to a funeral. Can you be laughing, making jokes in a funeral? No. No, mm -hmm. right, never. Now, if you go to the church, for example, I mean, can you go with, in the case of the ladies, with a mini shirt, <laughs> right? I mean, it's not appropriate, right? And this is the meaning of accordingly, when your behavior matches with a particular situation. Understood? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. I remember funerals in my in my in my town when I was a child. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> totally different the funeral than right now. <laughs> Why? Everybody playing and drinking, drinking alcohol, <laughs> laughing a lot, and eating tamales, a party. It is, Imagine. It and the family, pretty sad. <laughs> Just the family. <laughs> Imagine, guys. So, I mean, that is not accordingly to the situation, right? So, pretty good. Now, inherently, do you remember what inherently was? It's the letter E. When you have something, what? and remove about you. Okay, think about you guys. Can you tell me something that you cannot remove from you? I mean, talking about a characteristic, I'm not talking about, well, physically we can also say it. I mean, you have your arms, <laughs> your arms are part of you. You cannot just take it away. But talking about your personality, what is something that cannot be removed? What do you think? Uh -huh. The language, the language, particular the, country. Okay, a language. Yes. Yesterday the, we were talking the, about the word, the, the words. The words is a oh the vocabulary. The accent. The words. <laughs> the accent. Accents. Uh huh. Yeah. That's true. That is something from us. It cannot be removed. Okay. 
What else? Something in your personality that cannot be removed. What do you think? Maybe you're right. Yes, that's true. What else? Your character. Your character, yes. Character. Or your beliefs. Imagine if you believe in God. Do you think that someone can remove that? No. Not really, right? So that is something that belongs to you. That is the meaning of inherently. Something that belongs to you and it cannot be removed. This is, again, you can take it physically or personality. Now, the next one, cog. What was that? Do you remember? I show you a picture. <laughs> Letter yes. G. Letter? G. G, correct. Imagine if you have a watch. In the watch, you have different cogs. And all of them have to move correctly in order that the machine works. In a company, every person in a company is a cook. Yes or no? Yes, they yeah. are. Yes. 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 All of them, right? Okay, the last one, overburden. What was that? Do you remember? When you have a lot of work over your capacity, you are burned out. Exactly, that's correct. When your boss say, hey, take this job, you have to do this. And then your supervisor arrives and say, okay, extra work. <laughs> and in your house, you have a lot of things to do too. And in the English class, you have a lot of homework. So my goodness, right? You are overburdened. So is the vocabulary clear, everyone? Yes? Yep. All right, let's see if it is true. We are going to practice some speaking questions, but before that, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, stay present. Adriana Escalante. Okay. Ca Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. All right. Christian Alexander. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Germán Alexander. Present. All right. Héctor Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernández. Present teacher. Very good. Ivan Guzmán. Present. Very good. Uh, Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Holman Girón. Holman. Okay. Um, Lucy Natalie. Present. All right. Magdalena Escalante. Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. All right. Nelson Antonio. Present. All right. Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. And Rosalina Alvarado. Okay, pretty good. So guys, let's practice speaking. We are going to answer some questions about the vocabulary that we just see. Okay, in this case, look, in each question, we are going to find some vocabulary. So if you don't remember the vocabulary, let's review it. The idea, please, everybody has to be details. Try to explain as much as possible because later I'm going to interview you, okay? I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp group. Please, everybody, 
enter to the groups and participate. Um, let's see, on WhatsApp's group, I have two people, two people told me that they will be listeners and it's all right. So the rest of you guys, let's participate. Look, I mean, just today and tomorrow and it's over, so let's practice, all right? Let me open up the groups. Remember, zero Spanish. If you are in a group that nobody's talking, tell me and I will switch you to another group. Give me a second, let me open up the groups. Oh, I can see Magdalena, do you have two users right now? Yes? Yes, teacher. In one of them, I am taking a screenshot and the other one is my computer. Ah, okay, got it. Give me a second. Okay, just let me create the groups, one moment. Okay, let's go to work. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, Hector. Hey, and hello, how are you? Why Jamie is the only one with the camera on? Yeah, teacher, my camera, but I try. I will try. Um, okay. And Christian, Herman, why do you have the camera off? Teacher. Uh huh. I have to change my device, and if I change, I leave the group. Ah, okay. So when we come back, next. Try it. Uh -huh. Next. All right. Okay. Herman, how about you? Hello, teacher. I'm not in my home. Ah, but, okay. But, uh, <laughs> casi llego. <laughs> almost, I, almost, I arrived. almost arrived. Okay, yes. perfect. So. When you arrive, you can keep it on, okay? Thanks. All right, let's start, guys. Let's discuss the questions. And ah, I can see Hector. Thank you, Hector, very good. Isabel Hernandez, are you there? Isabel, I want you to participate. Mm, please, participate. Okay, guys, let's go. You can start. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask <laughs> to for the first one question. What is uh, in your case, sector? What is an example of when you or someone you know when the extra mile? Wait, um, extra mile. I think in, in, in your work. Yes, could be in your in your in your in, in the work. Okay, for example, when you when you schedule is a uh, four p.m. but you have to do a lot of things in your work and you you. Ay, how do you say que that? Um, stay, after. stay. You stay. You stay one one stay. hours more. Okay. Is this is in your case? You. Yes. Okay. One hours or two hours or three hours. Okay. And how about how about you, Hector? Um. I try not not um. Uh, um offer extra mile in my job <laughs> in my work uh if it's possible for me i don't want i don't like i don't 
eh, consider necessary, eh, como diría, gift extra mile for my job because I think I have a schedule and this schedule is necessary work a lot for uh, a complete goal, ¿cómo sería? Eh, um, ¿Cómo sería cumplir las metas? Eh, reach, reach your goals. Reach, reach. Uh -huh. reach. Reach, como alcanzar. Or you can use the verb get. Get. Mm -hmm. Get your goals. Get, get, get my goals, I think. But in, in some case, it uh, was necessary because uh, um, when they asked me for a report or, or um, yeah, a report is necessary to take a midnight or, or more. And, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. But in, in some cases, it's necessary, but it's not, it's not frequently for me. Okay. In your case, Jamie? Mm, I believe that when when I start the job, <laughs> I I give the extra mile, but <laughs> nowadays no no more. <laughs> uh, because um, I did work in a in a hydroelectric center. So uh, I have to, I have to be um, available almost twenty four hours. If if the boss uh, call me in the midnight because I have to solve a problem, we have to do it. So um, I don't like, <laughs> but uh, today I try to to. To don't don't be a pile of, and I don't know if we are going to ask someone else. Christian, are you here? Yes, yes, I am here. I think that in some cases it's good to give an extra mile, but it depends of the of the company or of the situation. It sometimes it's necessary, but if you do all the time, your boss or your manager uh, always say the same, okay? And you have to stay for available all the time. And you know, you, we need a time for rest. We need a time to spend with our family. And it's good, but in the work hours, just just in, in your work hours. For example, if you are doing a, a project, it's important to give more than the expected, but not in your house or maybe no extra hours. It's, it's necessary. For me, it's necessary sometimes give an extra mic, but uh, we have to measure that extra mile because if we don't, if we always stay available, we're going to get sick, for example, with or nervous, with or, or we're going to get, uh, teacher, how I can say, uh, enfermar. Get sick. Get sick. Get uh -huh. sick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. We can get sick if we don't do with responsibilities. <laughs> yes, uh, mm -hmm. your 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 opinion is good because uh, you can give a uh, extra mile, but is but if it's uh, occasional, but not <laughs> ever. <laughs> yes, because uh, my opinion if uh, we have. Uh, working in the uh, working in the hotel, I uh, prepare the the reports, the visit. Uh, I finish the working uh, around the uh, eleven p.m. or twelve p.m. For me, it's a extra mile. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> 
In my case, I remember when I I went to um airport. In the airport, I I walk, and the oh office <laughs> uh, change to stay here in the mall as cascadas yeah. and i i stay in the airport at 9 p.m in the in the airport to to my home i arrive at uh, 11 o'clock maybe tonight yes so much time my friend yes <laughs> how do you survive i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just counting the hours and it's like you are alive. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's it's difficult, teacher. Uh, remember the the um, como, how do you say is the viajar uh, trip? Viajar in the in the street, carretera. I mean travel, uh, move. Uh, I, I move traffic uh, the around traffic. the yeah yeah. Oh, the, For example, the, the do you, the company give give transportation. Uh -huh. That helps. <laughs> yes. But, but even though, I mean, <laughs> that was hard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, please. How about Holman? Very heavy. <laughs> uh, um, Holman? In my case, I remember when, when I... Went to the univer U university. I I I had to to went uh after the the job and it was very 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 tired. I remember I. I came back to my home around nine, uh, nine p.m. Oh, every day, I I I came back to 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 dinner to study and uh, prepare my my things for the next day. It was very very tired. I remember. And you survived too. <laughs> yeah. How how did you survive? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, but uh I think I am I am young and uh some sometimes I think I I I spend a lot of a lot of time so I I I I don't talk in 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 this time, if I am tired, but I I I did a a, a good routines with my time with my free free time. After the thirties, things change. <laughs> After the thirties, you don't feel <laughs> tired. John, you feel exhausted. Do you? Feel... <laughs> do you... Uh, he is young. <laughs> he's young. But in this moment, it is young. easy for him. Yeah. yeah. In 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 this case, my 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 work is for me is very hard. It, it is very stressful because I have to to work. Uh, in uh, I I I I do hard work, and I I have to be be careful with with different different documents so 
is is stressful and it's very very hard. It's so hard. I think mm -hmm. I yes, I I think I I need a a a work uh 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 quiet 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 uh most quiet oh a More quieter 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 a okay. quieter job or uh come back <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. sounds good all right pretty good guys continue please okay mm -hmm. Actually, and yeah, you are your yeah, you are on bus, yeah, you, and we yes, have and a also, bus. <laughs> and also, he traveled to San Salvador. He traveled in uh, El Mahawal, to City, San Vicente. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Magdalena is is he had a look looky look looky look, yeah. A lucky man. A lucky man, yeah. <laughs> lucky. lucky. Lucky, sorry. Lucky, lucky man. Remember the lucky. remember the, the soup, similar to Maruchan soup? soup. Maruchan soup? soup. What is the other one? What is the name? Lucky. Lucky. Oh, lucky. So similar lucky. to that is the pronunciation. Ah, he's very Lucky. Acuérdense lucky. de eso. Ah, because if you say lucky, I mean, not really, right? Lucky. Mm -hmm. okay. Si quieren decir buena suerte, how do you say that? Good, Good luck. 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 Good okay? luck. Like, como lucky, but without the E. Luck. Porque si dicen good luck... Eso están hablando de una good physical appearance. Ah, he oh. is good luck. Ah, that mm -hmm. is different. That means that the appearance is good. Okay, so okay. be careful with the pronunciation. Okay, okay. thank you. Good luck. Luck, me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next is, in your opinion, what are the hallmarks of a good man manager? A good manager is who is people is people okay uh, a good manager is a person who is who is a person with them employees mm -hmm. who who has who have time with them speak with them eat with them good manager is a person who knows their employees just know it's not enough, no. It's not enough. Just know uh, their names. They have to know their their preoccupations, <laughs> their families. That is um. Uh, I don't know what is the word to say that the ideal. I don't know if if is that teacher. The, Help us. What what are you trying to say? El ideal, la utopía. Okay. If you are talking about that, you can say the ideal. Ideal. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the ideal of a manager. What is in your opinion? In okay, in my opinion, uh, Halmar. Manager can can be uh, who works uh, next. You. If you if you have a lot of work, they work next to. I say, hey, we need to explore this weekend. Okay, together work together and finish right now. Uh, your, uh how can I help you to finish that? And I help you. Is that idea? Yes. Yes. 
is helpful. Yes, of course, it's very Doesn't good. With with a supervisor. This is my opinion. And Mirna, um, what do you in mean? In my opinion, in my opinion, that uh, the hallmarks of a good manager is a person that, as uh, Nelson say, that help that the 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 other people and the the good manager have to 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 take or is a characteristic that, that that I think that the good manager have is a good manner for for others with respect and, and talking with your employees or your 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 the people that that a manager as a as a in 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 your in the team and uh, I think that this is important the, the good manner that the manager uh, talk with your uh, co-workers or in uh, or, or or talk with the 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 rest of the people in in the company and the help a good manager is the characteristic I think that help helping others and <laughs> talk with respect with others yeah. and 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 working a team is 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 the the base that the good manager think I think that the good manager have co-workers or all inter clients the main the main things to do is uh management servers okay is work with softwares yes yeah, software um computers a lot of things okay hey. and your opinion with me, 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 or... Yes, you. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Uh, it's opposite of German uh, case. <laughs> it's difficult because I work, uh, my profession is uh, agronomist, but work in a, in a, how do you say, env env protect environment, environment. And the people is very difficult to uh, understand. And I don't have an analogy for, for explain. Explain? Uh, ex explica, ex yeah, yeah. Describe. I think describe my, my work. But the best analogy is um, if you don't see uh, one tree or forest, you don't have um, quality life. I think this is, uh, I think this is the best analogy for explaining my, my work, but not only uh, uh, sería, crops, I don't know, no. it's, 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 it's more than, than that or uh, maybe uh, in office work, but work in a, in a rural zone. I don't know. It's so, my work. It's interesting. It's good, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and sometimes it's boring, but I like it. Okay. Jamie, uh, how about you? <laughs> um, what analogies could be used? Could 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 be used um, I the person that most most uh, most ensure the all the building is a good condition uh, you have to change uh, uh, something for the floor or something for um, a tube or whatever. 
is something in the infrastructure. Infrastructure. Uh, I have to. I have to ensure that uh, the infrastructure uh, must be in a good conditions. So this is my job. <laughs> You're engineer, Jamie. Yes. <laughs> engineer, uh, 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 architect, no. There, ¿Cómo sería? Civil, mm, civil engineer. Civil engineer. Yes. Ah. Ah. Uh, in your case, Christian, what analogy school do you use? Mm, in my case, actually, I am engineer too. Insistent, but actually I don't have I, I don't work in IT department. I work to the process department. I ensure that the process all the people follow the process in the company. I watch and improve the process, and create diagrams, and actually. I uh, automate the process. I, I, I look for to automate process with some technologies. Uh, I am joining the process uh, things with the technologies and making some flows, applications, uh, mobile uh, mobile apps and web apps for automate measurements uh, how how many documents for example how many documents did a people a person what is the the times of the dispatch what is the times of the activities and everything of that to to measurements to the people get measurements and present in, in a Power BI, for example, in tables or graphics. Okay? Get the information and present to the bus in a friendly model. That is my, my job. Okay, good mm -hmm. description. Congratulations. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> uh, in the last, in the last one, sentences, Herman. Uh, and I think have uh, what's wrong? Empathy. Empathy with the mm -hmm. with the co-workers. It's important mm -hmm. be be serious serious for uh to work to work yeah yes. okay num number four what analogy could you use to describe your job to someone who didn't know what to do. Good thing. No. All right, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for everyone. Time's up, time's up.
All right, welcome back. Okay, interesting answers I was listening to. And some gossips, as always. <laughs> okay, did you answer all the questions, everyone? No, yeah. teacher. No? <laughs> okay, it's because of this gossips. A lot of gossiping, huh? Okay, the rest, uh, the rest of the groups, everybody, did your classmate provide a lot of details? Yes? Yes. Cool. Did you listen to any words in Spanish? Yes or no? Almost nothing. Almost mm -hmm. nothing. Okay. How about grammar mistakes? Could you identify any grammar mistake? Nope. <laughs> okay, listen, something good I liked is because you were providing a lot of details. That's something that I liked. Also, guys, pretty good because according to your answers, I could see that you understood the vocabulary. So that is awesome too. The little details that we need to keep in mind are the followings. Especially guys with the third person because mm, today I identified a lot of cases with the third person. So please be careful with that one. Okay. If I say in some case, is that correct? In some case. It is plur plural. It some has cases. to be exactly in some cases because if you say only case in that case we don't need the word some if it is in singular you just have to say ah, in a case but in the case that you use some okay you need plural now ah my company give is that correct? Uh -huh. yeah. Correct. So exaggerate the letter S because I'm not listening to. So that job was tired. What do you think? Is that correct? Mm. No. The, the word tired is no. Without B. Do you Only remember? Tired. Mm. You're, you've passed the bear and the, I think. Okay, I remember mean, that there are two tired. types. There is tired and tiring. Both are adjectives. But what is the difference? Tired is for person. Mm -hmm. and so, tired. And tiring? It's for uh, don't feeling. It's um, for other things, not person. Hey, that, that's tiring good. Tiring is an is object. Adjective. Okay. Adjective from emotion. Ah, look at this. Both are adjectives. Tired, tiring, both are adjectives. What happens is tired, remember, is for feelings. <laughs> this is when we are talking about alive things, alive people, alive animals, but not objects. And with the ing, I'm not talking about feelings. I'm talking about characteristics. And in this case, it can be for objects, okay? It can be for people too, or for animals, but I'm not describing feelings. So in this case, if I'm talking about my job, 
What do you think? Am I giving feelings or am I giving characteristics? Characteristics. Ah, so can I say, I that Joe was tired? Mm -mm. No, what are we going to say? That Joe was? Tiring. Okay, because it's a characteristic. Don't forget that. Then I was listening to a lot of mistakes with the third person. What happens here? He have. He has. Correct. He has. He travel. Travels. Travels. Third person. A good manager have. Oh. Is that their person? It's oh. their person. Has. Exactly. So what happens? I don't know why you're making mistakes with the third person. Be careful, everyone. Now, I listen to the word preoccupations. If I want to say Worry. preocupaciones. Now, listen, preoccupations actually is acceptable. Okay? I mean, you can use it. Yes, it's not common. Actually, uh, I have never heard anyone saying preoccupations. Most of the time, we just use concerns or worries. So in this case, you can say, I, I have a lot of concerns. I have a lot of worries, but not preoccupations. Okay? Be careful with that. So let me interview you uh, with the camera off, of course. Let me start with Christian. Hello, Christian. Hello, teacher. Christian, <laughs> tell me, um, in your opinion, what are the Walmarts of a good manager? Mm -hmm. For me, in, in my opinion, a good manager must have, a, for example, a good distribution of the activities for the team. A, the team have to be equilibrated with the activities. A, or the, also, a, a good manager have to needs to improve in your uh, how can say that? Not just say the thing. Uh, also, he came. He have to explain that thing. Mm -hmm. Just not give orders. Also, give explanation how you can do the thing. Mm. Uh, and that's some ideas. I mean, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Those are good Walmarts for a good manager. Okay, Christian, thank you. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Yes. Uh, Holman. Thank you. Hello, Holman. Hi. 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 Okay, Holman, tell me, um, what is an example of you or when you went the extra mile? Uh, 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 well, uh, I remember I, I went to the university is it was very uh I went um with after after job and I I come back uh to my home around uh, nine nine PM every day. So, that was exhausting. I, 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 
errado, errado, tipo, errado, entendeu? Mas, 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 mas. Okay, sorry, Hellman, but you are breaking up. I cannot hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, I think that he connections fails. All right, let's pick someone else. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Hector. Hello, Hector. Hello, teacher. I have a problem. I have a problem. Yeah, I, I know your connection sorry. wasn't working very well. <laughs> okay, no worries, Holman. No worries. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, Hector, tell me. Um what analogy could you use to describe your job to someone who didn't know what to do? Um I try explain in my in my group before before. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult to explain. But my analogy is, uh, if you don't have uh, a tree, you don't have a uh, quality life. Uh, my job is uh, try to uh, oh, say preserve is good or have a good forest, have a good uh, envir environment. Environment? environment with my job i try explain with that because they uh, use a different different way for for um conserve and conserve ah conserve conserve, conserve the forest conserve the forest my work is is that oh okay that sounds interesting so that sounds like um Agronomist. Yep, agronomist, but uh, work like a biology biologist. Biology. Biologist. Uh -huh. Hey, that's great. That sounds I, interesting. I can, I can take two way <laughs> agronomist <laughs> or 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 bio, bio, biology. Okay, but that's a good analogy. Excellent. Thank All right. You. Because of the time, we cannot continue interviewing you, but good job, guys. Remember, the idea is to talk, okay? When I entered to some groups, nobody was talking. Sometimes I have people that I know that you are a little bit shy, you don't want to participate, but guys, if you don't participate, you are not going to improve, Okay, so don't be afraid, don't be shy. Let's participate. I don't understand why some of you don't want to participate. I know the ones that are listeners and it's okay, but I have some people that stop participating. And if you stop participating, you're not going to improve. Okay, so please try to do it. Now let's stop talking. About that topic, it's time to see something different. And now, guys, we are going to learn how to use suffixes. Okay? Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, I can. Yes. All yes, right. Can. Good. We are going to take verbs and we are going to transform those verbs into nouns. Okay, for example, uh, let's start to making a noun from a verb and look at here. The first option is to add ER or the letter R. For example, if I say manage, manage is the verb. What will be the noun? Manager. Correct. So we are adding ER. Okay. But we can also add only the letter R. For example, drive. Drive is the verb. What is a noun? 
driver. Driver. So I'm just adding the letter R. If I have baby seat, baby seat is the verb. What is the noun? What's meaning baby seat, teacher? Baby seat is a person that takes care uh, of the babies. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Babysitter. Babysitter. Correct is babysitter. What is the suffix that I'm adding? E. Yeah. R. If I have, well, a common one, teach. Teach is the verb. What is the noun? Teach. Teacher. So I'm adding E. Are. What happens here is the ones that are ending in the letter E are the ones that we just need to add the letter R. Now, this is something, guys, a little bit negative about this topic. And I want to be clear. There are not specific rules that are going to indicate which nouns will be followed by ER or which nouns will be followed by R or by another suffixes. We have different suffixes. Si queremos convertir de un verbo a un noun, hay diferentes suffixes que podemos agregar. Not only ER. Tenemos más. Hoy les voy a enseñar unos cuantos, pero no son todos. And unfortunately, there is not a specific rule. No es como que, ok, si termina en vocal, le vamos a agregar este. If it is ending in the letter and, we are going to use this other. There is not a specific rule. I mean, the language, para saber qué sufijo le vamos a agregar, La lengua se basa en la raíz de la palabra. Pero para saber exactamente qué sufijo hay que agregarle, tendríamos que saber, ah, esta palabra proviene de latín, qué significa tal cosa, por lo tanto, el mejor sufijo sería este. But, I mean, we are not going to do that, right? So, la única opción que nos queda a nosotros como learnings, I mean, the ones that are learning the language, is memorizing them ok yo ya me aprendí que teach es el verbo así que para hacerlo noun es teacher yo sé que es teacher y ya me lo aprendí y ya sé que no le voy a agregar otro suffix ok so en este escenario sí, guys I'm so sorry but we don't have another option than memorize of course the logic is going to help you but not in all the scenarios Okay, so the first suffixes that we can add is ER or R. Let's see some examples. I have some sentences here. For example, I work in a bakery. Bakery is the place. And I bake bread. Look, bake is the verb. So I am a, what is the noun? Baker. Baker. ¿Qué le agregamos? Le agregamos only? Yeah. Only R. What about uh. the second? Sam really wants to be ta -da 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 -da, when he grows up. He likes to teach. People. So teach is the verb. What will be the noun? Teacher. Teacher. Pretty good. What did we add? E R. How about the number three? I'm not a, a great da, da 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 da, but I like to golf on weekends. Golf is the verb. 
What do you think? What will be the noun? Golfer. 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 And what is the translation for golfer? Golfista. Golfista. Correct. Okay, volunteer for the number four, please. Uh huh. David Livingstone was a famous British explorer. He explored parts of Africa. Okay. So, oops. Look at this. Explore is the verb. What is the noun? Explorer. We add the letter R. Okay? Teacher, teacher the yes? Livingstone is a is a last name, the David, right? Yes, it's a last name. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Okay, number five. Volunteer for reading the number five, please. You teacher. Yes. My brother likes to blow about restaurant in our city. He is a blogger. All right. He is a blogger. Do you know what a blogger is? In Spanish is blogger or también. Yes, those are like the influencers in some years ago, right? So look at here, and this is something that I want you to pay attention. What happens with blogger? Did you see something different? Double G to, to letter G. We double the last consonant. Guys, this is like the same rule when we were talking about the verbs that are only with one syllables or when we see adjectives with one syllable. If it is ending in consonant, vowel, consonant, and it has only one syllable, what do we need to do? Double consonant. We double the last consonant. So the rules in English, I mean, they are just continuing. It's just the same. Okay, look at the number six. Our windows look dirty. Let's call da -da 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 -da, to come and wash them. So what is the noun? What is the person that they need to call? Nina. Very good, a cleaner. Very good. So number seven, volunteer for reading, please. Number seven. Yes. You like. Oh. Go ahead. Okay, Fatima, go ahead. I like growing flowers and plants. Maybe I'll learn how to be um paint garden mm. garden a garden garden is the verb so what is the noun gardener yes pretty good gardener so if you like plants if you like flowers so that means that you like to garden and the noun is gardener now uh, hector can you read the number eight postcard teacher michael felt is a famous um swimmer swimmer who swam in the 2012 olympic game all right, so swimmer, is swimmer. that correct like this? Double them. Aha, uh -huh, very good. We need to double the last consonant. It's a short verb, it's ending in consonant, vowel consonant, so we need to double the last M. Pretty good. Okay, the last one, volunteer please. Number nine. Hey, nine. Yes, please. This is my first time to study Spanish. 
I a beginner. All right. I'm a beginner like this. Is that correct? Double N. Double N. Mm. All right. Look at this, guys. These are nouns. So we can transform a verb into a noun. Okay? And one of the most common suffixes that we can use is E-R. Understood? Yes? Uh, yes, teacher. If teacher, I say, I, uh huh. I understood that when some word finished with er, er, is, er, er, is people who make the action. Yes. I understood that. Mm -hmm. And that is the one. For example, the action is swim. That is the verb. What is swim? Swim. Nadar. Yes, that is the action. ¿Quién hace la acción de nadar? El nadador. Exactly. So, si yo quiero decir nadador, voy a decir... Swim. Swimmer. So, swimmer is the person, is the people. For example, necesito limpiar mi cuarto, right? Clean is the action. La persona que limpia se convertiría en un cleaner. Cleaner. So that is the person who does the action. Understood? Yes? ¿Se entiende so far? Clear? It's clear so far. I hope so. So remember, we have different suffixes. The first one, and this is one of the most common, is adding E-R. Now, let's see another suffixes that we can use. And this is on your manuals, okay? So if you have the manuals with you, let's go to the page 38. So we already checked the ER. Now, if I want to make a noun from the verb, also I can add IER or I can use OR, okay? So those are some suffixes that I can use. Imagine this, manufacture. That is the verb. What is the noun? Manufacturer. Manufacturer. I'm just adding the letter R as in the previous examples. Okay, supply. Supply is the verb. What is the noun? Supplier. Supplier. And what happens here? Supply is ending in Y. So, ¿puedo agregar solo la ER in supplier? No. No, no really. Okay. We need to change. Instead of Y, we add IER. Supplier. Distribute. What is the noun for distribute? Distributor. Very good. What is the suffix? O R. So this is a common mistake. So we can say distribute. Ah, okay, entonces va a ser distributor. So le agrego la R. Mm, in this scenario, no, it changes. So the correct suffix is O-R. We change the letter E for a letter O. 
So that's why, guys, as I mentioned before, there is not a strict rule. There is not a specific rule that says, okay, we are going to do it like this. Todos los que terminan con esta letra, ER. Los que terminen con esta letra, IER. Y los que terminen con esta, OR. Not really. Okay? There is not those specific rules. What we have to do is memorize them. It is not easy, I know, but with the practice, little by little. Understood? Yes, teacher, I understood. All right. Manage. Manage is the verb. What is the noun? Uh huh. Mana. Manager. Manager. Mm -hmm. Retail. We already checked these words. Retail is a verb. What is it now? Retailer. 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 Wholesale. Wholesaler. Wholesaler. Sell. Sailor. Okay. Can you think in another verb that can be a noun by adding er or i e r or o r? What do you think? Can you think in another one? Bye, teacher. Bye. Okay. Why? This one? <laughs> okay. Know. What do you buyer. think, guys? Can we buyer. say buyer? No, I don't like think this? So. Yes. Let's see. Yes mm -hmm. or no? Yes. 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 Exactly. Exist. Now, mm -hmm. important. If you are not pretty sure if the word exists or not, what do you need to do? Don't use it. <laughs> Don't use it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but <laughs> go to the dictionary, all right? If the word don't exist, I mean, if the word doesn't exist, I'm sorry, of course you don't have to use it. But to be sure, always confirm with the dictionary, okay? Understood. Ah, you say buyer? Yes, you can say buyer. Imagine if the verb is right. What is right, the name of right. the person who writes? Writer. It's a writer. a writer. Pretty good. Can you think of another one? Another verb that can be transformed into a noun? Wing. Work. 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 What is the name of the person who works? It's a worker. Worker. Pretty good. Do, do you have another one? Queen. A play. Play? Player. Player. I heard someone else. Which one do you say? Win. Win. Yeah. Winner. Yes. Winner. Win is winner. Win. So you see? Pretty easy, right? Is it clear, guys? The suffix, uh, the suffixes er, i e r, or o r. Yeah. Sure, the the key the keys is uh, memorizing the word the the pairs. Exactly. Excuse me. The the nouns. Excuse Both me. actually. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you had to memorize it. Unfortunately, there is not option, guys. You have to memorize them. Let's have a practice. I have some sentences here. You have to pick the correct word. In the number one says the employees, you have to decide if you need the verb or the noun. So the employees want the manager or the manager to organize the inventory. The what manager. is the correct word? The manager. Absolutely, we need the noun. Okay, in the number two, volunteer for reading, please. 
they distributors the products all around the country. All right. Do I need the noun or the verb? They distribute or they distributor? Distributor. Distributor, are you sure? So what do you think, guys? Do I need the verb or the noun? Uh, no, no, no. It's better distribute. Distribute, distributor. In this there case, is a, there is a personal pronoun. The, after the personal the pronoun, we need a verb. Mm -hmm. Correct. The verb. Remember the structure of a sentence. Subject, verb, complement. If I already have the word they, I don't need another noun. Doesn't make sense. So I need a verb. Pretty good. Number three, volunteer for reading, please. Wake Good up. Eye. Yes, please. Go ahead. Inventory counts provide restaurants. Restaurants. What is the pronoun? Restaurants to the man to the manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you agree, guys? Manufacturers? Yes. Yes. Totally. Pretty good. Number four, volunteer for reading. Teacher, what mean what does mean reassurance? What does mean? If you already say does, does, you don't need the letter S. Okay, what does mean? Okay, reassurance basically, guys, is like to give secured. Okay, in this case, inventory counts provide confidence, como la tranquilidad, confianza, seguridad. That is the meaning for reassurance. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Volunteer for the number four, please. Can I? Yes, please. The accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by a retailer's store. All right. She said retailers. Do you agree, everyone? For me, it's retail. Retail? Yes. Yes, I, I agree with that. With them. It's okay. retail. Retail store. And that is the correct one, actually. By a retail store. Okay. Um, the last one, the supply or the supplier needs us to keep track of how much product is left. The supplier. The supplier. The supplier, are you sure? Yes. Yes, that is the correct one. Pretty good. Okay. So if you see guys, we have to be careful and that's why we need to learn this vocabulary because we need to see, do I need a noun or do I need a verb, okay? And we need to pick the correct words. That is why suffix, uh, suffixes are important, okay? Any questions so far? Or clear, no one. clear, clear as our chatter. Yes, as Tamarine, did you? All right, I'm going to check attendance, guys, before continue. So when you listen to your names, say present. Adriana Escalante. Uh -huh. All right, Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Okay. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Erika Yasmin. She's listener. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Germán Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Um, Isabel Hernández. Present teacher. All right, Ivan Guzman. Present. Okay, Jamie Raquel. Present. 
Jamie Raquel. Present. All right. Holman Giron. Present. All right. Lucy Natalie. Present. Okay. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. All right. Nelson Antonio. Present. All right. Oscar Armando. And Rosalina Alvarado. All right, pretty good. Okay, guys, let's continue. Now, we already checked the first prefixes that we can add. ¿Cuáles son los pref eh, prefixes? I'm sorry, suffixes that we already checked? R, E, R, O, R. All right, perfect. Now, let's see others. As I said, we can add different ones. There is another uh, suffixes that we can add and is meant, all right, or ion. Those are other suffixes that we can use if you can transform a verb into a noun. And here we got some examples. Argue. What is argue? Uh-huh. Point of view. Okay, but like, argue argue is the verb. This could is, is like a, mm, it's like a, argumentar. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. Argumentar. Argumento. Mm, but yeah. argumento is a noun. Ah. Argue. Discutir. Yes. It can be discutir, alegar, debatir, all right? So, la persona que realiza la acción, the person who argues, what happens here? She use argument. What is the meaning of argument? Argumentar. Mm. It's not a verb it's anymore. It's In no, this case, it's a noun. Argumento. Argumento. Exactly. Argumento. So pay attention what happens here. The word is ending in E. But what did I do here? I don't have the E anymore. All right. So we delete the letter E and we just say argument. I have another example, create. So, ¿qué pasa si le agrego el yon? I will say creation. And what is creation? It's a? It's a thing created. It's a noun, exactly. Now, pay attention here porque aquí las cosas cambian un poquito. Creation is a noun. ¿Y cómo se llama la persona que hace la acción de create? Creator. And what is the suffix that we need to add? Or. Ah. We say creator. Look how the suffix can change the meaning of the sentence. Si el suffix is OR, yo estaría diciendo creador, right? Creator. Si el suffix is ION, I'm saying creation, so that is creación. Understood? Yeah. Yes? A little difficult. I know. We need to practice and memorize them. Let's see some examples. So keep in mind the suffixes, please. In this case, we are going to use meant or ion. Let's see some examples. I will show you some sentences, some words, and you have to decide what will be the correct suffix. Uh, well, let me open up the exercise. Okay, look at here. The word is 
advertise. What is advertise? What do you think? Advertisement. Ah, very good. So advertise is the verb. So in this case, what is a noun? Advertisement. And what is the meaning of advertisement? Publicidad. Aviso. Aviso, yes. publicitario, publicidad. Right? Pretty good. Then I have the verb suggest. What is a noun? Can I say suggestment? No, it's suggestion. Suggestion. Mm -hmm. ah. Suggest, suggestion. Suggestion. Again, there is not a specific rule to determine which is the correct suffix. We need to memorize. I have the verb enjoy. Can I say enjoy? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Or which Enjoyer. one? Enjoyment. 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 So if you see the logic help us a little bit. Como que también nuestro sentido común nos va diciendo que enjoy, enjoy, doesn't sound good, right? So our logic is telling us no, it's enjoyment. But again, sure. if you don't feel sure, go to the dictionary. Yes, Christian? Mm -hmm. We can say enjoyer. Okay. Can we say enjoyer? What do you think, guys? Enjoyer. Can I say that? Do you think that that word exists? Yes or no? I don't know. Actually, it doesn't. Yes. <laughs> well, honestly, I haven't heard that. Enjoyer. Mm -mm. But we can verify it. Let's see. Enjoyed meaning. Okay, look, a person who delights in having fun. Okay, enjoyer appears here. Now let's find it out in the dictionary. Mm. Okay, look. And the dictionary doesn't seem to appear like a definition, but it seems like it works. We can search on the other dictionary. Oops. And look at this. Okay, in this one doesn't appear. Mm. So look, in those dictionaries doesn't appear. No aparece la palabra enjoyer, honestly. En Google dice que sí. <laughs> so, eso tendría que ser debatible, right? So, you have to you have to search different search. I mean, different searchers, different diferentes fuentes. In this website says that it it works, <laughs> that it's um exist. Be honest with you, I have never heard that before. Nunca he escuchado a alguien que diga, "Ah, he is enjoyed." Because, I mean, ¿cuál sería la translation? Él es un disfrutador. <laughs> mm, it sounds weird. Uh -huh. Degustador, maybe. <laughs> oh, but what happens is the meaning is different. Degustador es una persona que tries different food. Tasted. 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 Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, but as I said, hay que buscar diferentes fuentes. Y ver si funciona la translation también, right? So, I have never heard enjoyer, to be honest with you. But some dictionary says yes, some dictionary says no. It is debatible. <laughs> okay. How about the next one? Argue. Well, we already checked that one. Can I say arguation? <laughs> Argue. Argument. 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 Okay, excite. Can I say excitation or excitement? Excitement. excitement. Maybe. No. Yes, excitement. excitement. So if you see, it's like the logic. 
develop. Can I say develop, Sharon? Develop. Develop. Development. Development. So if you see these ones are words that you already know, right? So little by little, you are memorizing them. Teacher, um, what, what does mean excite? Okay, excite is the verb. It can be translated like emocionar or excitar. But ojo, because in English, the word excite is with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of emotion, a lot of happiness. In Spanish, we give another meaning, right? Because if you say excitar, sometimes people think in something different, right? It's not in, in some situations. Exactly. But in English, it's not like that. Okay? okay. Now, let's see. Compete. Can I say competition? Competition. Ah, very good. Competition. competition. Pretty good. Educate, can I say educatement? Education. education. Ah, education. Situation. Inform, can I say informant? Yes, inform information. 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 Info. Okay, so again, sometimes it's like the logic that is telling us which one we need to use our own memory because i know that these are some words that you already know got it clear yes yes got it okay so yes, what are yes, clear, clear, clear. The, what are the suffixes that we already learned er e er 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 Man, man, or in to e o n e o n e o n o i o n. Be careful with the guys. Lo voy a mandar a practice spelling. My goodness. Okay. That is Spanish. That is Spanish. It's other language. You are you are inventing the language. My God. Okay, let's see some sentences. Think about which of these nouns is the correct one. Most people think that ta -da 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 -da, is very important in the modern world. Education. Education? Do you agree, guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yes, it sounds good. Education. Most people think that education is very important in the modern world. Okay. Uh, where can I get some about train to Scotland? Information. Information. Okay, pretty good. Our school has a lot of computer. Equipment. 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 So, equipment. see, equipment is the noun. What is the verb? Equip. Exactly. Equip. Very good. Information is the noun. What is the verb? Inform. Inform. Cool. Education is the noun. What is the verb? Education. Simple, okay. pretty good. So, cuando a veces no sepamos, guys, cómo decir el verbo, <ríe> pensemos en el noun. Por ejemplo, yo ya sé cómo digo teacher, entonces, ¿cómo digo enseñar? Teach. Teach, Teach. ok. Si yo digo, eh, well, I forgot. <ríe> ok, <ríe> but that is an idea how you can work in your vocabulary. Okay, sure. I don't like watching. Uh, do you have a question? Advertisement. Yes. Okay, Hector, I'm sorry. Tell me. How about infor inform? I think you can get two ways for information, but I think informer. Ah. Informer, the person, and information, the thing. 
I exactly. don't know. Is it possible? It is. Informer is the person who share the information. Mm -hmm. We can say that. No. Yes. Y ambos son Perfect. nouns. Okay. Both. Information and informer both are nouns. All right. Okay. Okay. I don't like watching. Advertisement. Advertisement. Advertisement on TV. They are so boring. We don't have more time. Let's finish. Uh, my brother's favorite is his MP3 player. Excite. Excite. Excitement. Excite Excitement. Excitement. You think? Possessions. Possessions. Or possession. Possession. Yes, it's possession. possession. Ah, possession. careful. Very good. Okay, the last one. There was a lot of... Excitement. In the crowd when the football team won. Excitement. 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 Pretty Excitement. good. Mm -hmm. So you see, we are using the different nouns. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have more time, so we are going to continue practicing tomorrow. So remember, guys, it's not easy to topic, but it's not impossible. We need to memorize the world. Do you have any questions before leaving? No, no. Thank you. No, All right. Thank you. So remember, tomorrow is our last thank day. You. It is important to oh. everybody connect. <laughs> Anyone is crying. Okay, don't cry, don't cry. So guys, mm -hmm. if you haven't finished the platform, it's only two people, the one who hasn't finished. So complete it, please. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for being in the class. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. See you. Bye.